Hi, I'm here with Raina from Board and Dice. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. It's good to see you again. Oh, I good to see you, especially now that you are going to showcase Trentopia. Yes, that's right. Trentopia, uh, designed by Przemek Wojtkowiak. Uh, this is one that will be coming out uh, in June, so it's it's a very very soon upcoming release. Very excited yes. about that. Now, now let's get to the table and see the games a little bit more. Right now we have Trentopia set up here. Yes, and so what you see here is basically these two tiles here uh, are starting tiles that the players would start with. And then we're all building a train network. Now there are different aspects to the network. Both we want to, to expand it, we want to have a lot of track in it, but we, all, we also care about the people that will be traveling along those rails. Every round, uh, the game is played over eight or nine rounds, depending on the number of players. There will be tiles uh, that are set out here, as well as there's this little card here, do you see, that shows the current offer of things that we can draft from. Uh, every time that we will, we will put the corresponding wooden pieces here. Now, whenever you see uh, a, this question mark, that means that we're mm -hmm. gonna draw pieces from, mm -hmm. from this bag, and it will be either a yellow, green or, or gray right. person that comes out. So now I happen yes. to, to get a yellow one. And this is prototype, yes. This this is all Almost. final. This is this oh, is production. Yep. That's why I, uh, the last time I remember, I think this looks different. The truck. Yes. Yeah. yeah last this time I good. think I just borrowed uh, something from Ticket to Ride or, oh, right, or something. Yes. <laughs> but no, this is uh, this is definitely the, the final uh, pieces. Mm -hmm. So so basically, in, in this case, if we were playing a, a two-player game, mm -hmm. we would take turns uh, drafting. So maybe uh, I wanted to, to take this tile, I would add it uh, to my network like mm -hmm. this. So so the one of the simple rules is that tracks obviously have to connect to track. I wouldn't be able to place it here on the side. It can't just run into the into right. the grass. But otherwise, you can you can still offset. So, if if you took, for example, this this tile here, you could either place it like this or like that. But you can also place it off to the side. You can you can offset as long as you obey the rule oh, right. that you don't run the track mm. into just uh, into the grass. Right. Then it doesn't matter. Um, uh, all of the the tiles they will expand the network. Right. So the more tiles that we are adding, the larger the network will grow. Now you see some of these uh, areas here, they have different districts in different colors. The wooden pieces that we take, they interact with, with the things on the board. So for example, uh, this yellow commuter, if I take this one, I have a chance to score yellow districts uh, along my route. So if I place this one here, well, there's one yellow district and one that is a wild that would let me score two victory points, for example. Had I instead drafted a green or uh, or a gray worker, I would have scored different uh, victory points for it. Uh, the white um, ones, these are tourists. They don't care about the districts that they tra travel through, but they want to, to see different um, attractions along the route. So there are a couple here. This one, for example, is worth two victory points, one victory points, or some that are worth three victory points. And again, they want to see all of the different attractions along that route that they're traveling. Trains themselves, uh, they uh, want to be next to places where there are uh, where there's money. So whenever you place a tile like this that has money token uh, showing, you put a token on it and you can either save it there to score victory points from your trains, or you can spend those money tokens to acquire, and that's what we have here on the side. These are, there are 10 tiles that will always be available and you can buy those uh, with money. You can also uh, spend money for a couple of different benefits because every time that you place something down along one of your routes, you can only ever have one of each of the wooden pieces. So for example, I can only have one locomotive along one route, only one tourist, and only one of each of the five uh, different commuters. So once I have placed, for example, if I place the gray worker here, I can no longer place gray workers. But maybe I place a green one and I could spend uh, a money token to, instead of scoring green, I could score gray. So, so there, there, there are different options that you can do. The mailbag, for example, uh, doubles the value of your track and so forth. Right. So, so it's every turn is, is very simple. The players will have a card here that details basically how the, how the drafting works. And also on the back, of course, uh, how you score victory points for... Uh, for the different things here, it talks about the track length. Uh, you score for completed tracks, uh, so based on the the colors of the stations. So this is right here has a blue station. You won't end the track with a red station. If there are different stations, different color stations, then you get extra victory points. Versus if they're the the same, mm -hmm. you will score different victory points based on the length of the track, 
uh, as well as whoever has the longest um, track as well. And then uh, the only other thing is at the end of the game, each of the players will have uh, one of these objective cards and they will score you things, for example, if you have max uh, three tracks, 10 victory points. Uh, if you have three tracks that are closed with uh, stations, eight victory points. If you have nine uh, different types of attractions along the track and so forth. And, and that's basically it. Um, and this is the available tile for so, the next. So, so these table. these are the ones that, that you can you can spend a money token to acquire. Right. Otherwise, there will be more tiles uh, that come out every round, based on what it what it says down here. So, for example, yes. next round we will flip over another card, um, and and we we would again place in this case two tourists. We will draw a new commuter from the bag a new mailbag, and then we'd place up out five new tiles uh, here that we draft from. So every, every round, more tiles will become available, as well as other wooden tokens and so forth. And it's just a matter of drafting the pieces that you think will allow you to build the best network and the best train topia. That's, that's really good. I, I like this, uh, like a, a lot of people like train, like Tarrant right. mm -hmm. likes train. <laughs> yep. So this and it's not too heavy. This one? No, this one is a. It's it's a, on the lighter end of uh, the, the rules themselves are very simple. Like I said, the 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 actions that you take on your turn, it's very straightforward. Uh, you basically draw a map tile or one of the wooden pieces. You add it to your network, and and that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, as you're playing the game there are ways for you to to then go deeper into it but this is definitely one that you can you can play it with uh, casual people get great for families uh, maybe even good to have just as a as a lighter game on game night uh, between heavier games so it's it's more of a, a uh, light to medium um, Euro game, so. Yep, your other games usually tend to be a little bit heavier. Right. Yes. And and these these ones are, so basically in the first half of the year, we release the games that are uh, more of this this way. So. Right, I remember Inuit, I really like Inuit mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, I can't wait for this to, to be released. Thank you so much for sharing that, yeah. Anna. Happy. Thank you, bye. Bye.